Hey guys, Chris here, the RC Geek. Welcome back. We've got some exciting news. So you guys have asked for it and I was able to make it happen. You've seen a few videos with my buddy's center burner design. Uh, it's a simulated afterburner system that burns from the center, not from around the outside. And so what you get is just this amazing looking afterburner. Uh, you get this glowing tailpipe just like the real airplane. And so uh, we have gone through, we figured out how to produce it for you guys, so this is the initial offering. And so I wanted to put together a little video just to show you how it works and how to, to put it on the fan. So this initial offering is for the Freewing 80 millimeter Outrunner fan. Uh, and so f this is just the beginning. We're gonna go up to 90, we're gonna go down to 70, and even up to 120 millimeter. Uh, and so it's just a matter of designing different tail cones and then scaling up and down uh, the control board, adding and taking away, of course, uh, LEDs. So let's show you guys how to do this. Uh, I'm really excited. It's available from the rcgeek.com. Uh, I hope you guys really like it. So check it out. All right, so here is the center burner. You can see uh, we've got the, t the 3D printed tail cone that's made from ABS. We've got the populated PCB, uh, and so then we've got this pigtail coming out of here, and this is gonna plug into the controller. Speaking of which, here is the controller, and then we've got a quick little write-up telling you what to do. The controller comes like this. Simply take that out, uh, and then this pigtail coming out of here is going to plug into the controller in the same location and orientation. All right, and then that's it. To put this on the fan, we're gonna simply take the tail cone off. Slip this tail cone on. You can see how that goes. And we're gonna take these set screws and use them to fasten the tail cone down. So that way it's not going anywhere. And to do that, you just use these set screws and they're gonna self tap as they go in. All right, so there it is on the fan. Uh, from there, all we gotta do, so this is the servo extension. This goes to the receiver. It's highly recommended to, to Y this with your throttle channel, uh, and then we can program the controller. Uh, and then we just need to add a connector here. Now, to run the system, we need voltage input. You can use a 2S LiPo, something small like this 260 pack, uh, or you can run a UBEC. Totally up to you guys. Um, whatever works best for you. Either work perfectly well. So we'll, we'll solder a connector on here uh, and then we'll get it plugged in and I'll show you how to program the controller. To solder the power leads, um, I've just got a JST connector here. I'm just gonna simply solder it on um, and then that's gonna provide our external power. I'm gonna run just an external battery here. All right, so we've got the controller all hooked up. We've got the power connector here. Uh, so I've got this plugged into the throttle channel. So what we're gonna do, I've got a two cell LiPo here. Uh, the receiver is already on, transmitter is already on. We're gonna plug this in uh, and we're gonna see, look, all right, hey, things are working. However, it looks like uh, these come in way lower than I want. So to program the controller, all we do is set this Set the throttle to the position we want. There's a button on here, hit that twice. All right, so now you can see as I move this up, we're boom, right there. So that's it, that's how you program it. That's how uh, you install it. And so there you go. All right guys, there we have the center burner. Uh, thanks so much for watching. You can get this at thercgeek.com uh, slash 3D parts. Uh, and so this is the first of many. So I really hope you guys uh, enjoy these. And also, if you would like to see a specific fan 
uh, done. Let me know. You can email me or let me know in the comments because I don't have all the fans out there. So uh, if you want to send me a fan, uh, we can design around that and maybe we can figure something out for you. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you want to see these in action, you can see there's a MiG-21 video up here and I also have one of these in my kefir and you can see that down here. Thanks again guys and until next time, I'll see you at the field.